Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we've got news and this is going to be a very quick one. So the guys at Autodesk, they have come up with some sort of announcement which has to do with 3D Studio Max and Maya. So just in case you're one of those awesome artists that get to work with 3D Studio Max or Maya and you know how much this is quite expensive for you to work with. The guys at Autodesk have actually come up with something that would definitely make your life way easier. And just in case you're a hobbyist, a freelancer, a fresh graduate, and you know, you don't really have the big buck to go ahead and pay for a whole year subscription, which is costing nothing less than a thousand five hundred plus. Uh, in dollars now there is an indie licensing that is available but then there is a little something which you need to know about this the license is only available on a rental base you know uh, on rental basis and it's available for few countries so it's not for the public like that right now and it's not available to the huge market so it's available for countries like australia canada new zealand uk and united states and there is also another condition for you to be able to you know get into the subscription thing for the stipulated amount which i'm going to tell you guys later you definitely need to make less than a hundred thousand every year so it doesn't matter if you're an indie artist or if you're a small studio that is just building up if you want to get this tool or get this indie subscription which is going to cost around 250 dollars per year yes of course you may need to have or stay within this criteria so one more time you need to have less than a hundred thousand or make less than a hundred thousand dollars every year and then you need to live within canada australia new zealand uk and us uh furthermore they've gone ahead to say that this for now is a pilot program actually chip weatherman which is the autodesk chief product owner for 3d studio max has gone over to facebook and described this as a pilot program and they're actually considering whether they are going to expand the offer to other countries or other territories like they mentioned or if they would go ahead and expand the number of years so i think that one would be nice you know when you get to pay about that amount which is like 250 or probably 275 pounds depending whether you're living in the uk or in the us and you know you can own the software for two years uh, to me i think this is a good announcement just following the announcement that the guys at magazine has done and i think these companies are going towards you know bringing down the price moving towards subscription and you know allowing every artist to have a taste for what their software looks like unlike the other time where you know it's just so high price and it's you know it's limited for a few and going on to complete this i'm gonna say that 3d studio max just in case you don't know 3d studio max the indie version is still and only available for windows all right um, maya is still and will be available for windows cent os linux and also macintosh so just in case you're making use of the mac or you're making use of windows or linux yeah maya is still available and you can go ahead and use this in a very small print which was also advertised alongside within the offer page uh, autodesk is also advising that just in case let's say uh you're using the indie version and you've gotten that huge amount you've gotten that big contract you're working for definitely you should consider canceling this subscription for indie to me i think it's just going to make it way more easier for everyone to work with knowing fully well that you know as a student you might probably have been using the free version which is available for students and instructors and probably you've built your life around my and 3d studio max migrating to another software Oh, I don't know. Will it be better? What do you guys think about this? We've seen a lot of softwares coming out recently. Houdini has just simply made an announcement for Solaris. Blender is here already. Cinema 4D just made an announcement for R21. Maya 2019 is available and there is a lot of interesting things coming over to Maya. 3D Studio Max 2019, the recent update comes with the floating viewport, which is also an interesting addition to the guys working with 3D Studio Max. And you see, there's a whole lot of things happening here and there. Tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section. There's a whole lot of updates coming out. Link is going to be in the description where you can find the entire playlist. And there are free tools which you can also find, free softwares, you know, free stuff that 
you can also use from free friday also link is going to be in the description i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section and if you like this video you know what to do go ahead and hit the like button and turn on notification and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notification so you don't miss the next video and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace